Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download and install WinRAR. WinRAR is pretty much a compressing utility for Windows. It's used from RAR Lab and allows you to create files like RAR files, zip folders pretty much. And it also can unpack other ones kind of like, like 7z and like ISOs, jar files, um, so many different ones that you usually need that are kind of like compressed in there. But let's just go ahead and just jump right into this video. So first thing you do is go ahead and open up a browser. I'm going to go ahead and open up Google Chrome. And let it come up. And here it is. And you can go to the site called winrar.com. And you can go to their straight direct site right here. And the funny thing about this program is that it's actually, it has a trial of 30 days, but after those 30 days, you technically can still continue using that software. That's the funny thing about this software. So from this point, you can click the download WinRAR. And because if you want to buy it, you're going to click on the bottom again to download WinRAR again. And the file starts downloading. If it comes to a point that you can't get to the site, there's another awesome site that you can find this file from. Let's go to filehippo.com. And you can find lots of softwares there. And it seems it's already in their popular list right there. But if, in case it's not there, you'll just search it again by typing um, WinRAR. And then they have both versions, the 64 and the 32-bit. You want to download from there. But let's go ahead and just continue opening this program. You'll probably be prompted like this. Go ahead and press yes. You will need that to work. And for the time period, I don't need the browsers anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and exit up Google Chrome. I don't need it. And until you worry, you want to put your destinations for the folder. I'm going to leave it as default locations and continue. And until if you want to choose any additional ones like the ISO or the jar files, I'm going to go ahead and leave them as they are by default. You could also add a desktop shortcut. Why not? I can just go ahead and add one there. And just leave the settings as pretty much how they are and press OK. And since WinRAR has successfully installed on this folder, touch the location, settings about it, and thank you for using WinRAR. Because you want to purchase it instead, but that's another story. And here comes up a pop up for it. Thank you for installing WinRAR. I'm going to go ahead and exit. And here's the shortcut that it gave to us. Let's go ahead and open up this program. Oh, it's still giving us notifications here. Let's go ahead and just X that out. And here it is on it. It says an evaluation copy. It's pretty much probably just a trial version. But here's the program. So an example like this, let's see if we can try this real quick. I'm going to create a new WinRAR zip archive. And I'm going to put name it called files. And I can just probably just toss if I had something in there in it instantly works fine so if I open up this program and sorry asking if you want to choose it if you do have this program right here it's using the 7 zip file so you can go ahead and pr always use it if that's going to be your default I'm gonna go ahead and just manually select the WinRAR and press OK and here's the file right here and you can also you can just have other options to archive if you need to, a different version on their options. You could also just open up the program right here and open files through here. You can pretty much do lots of options right here for it. You can create probably a folder and that folder that has stuff can compress into a RAR file or archive inside of there. I'll tell you what formats you want. If I delete it, you can see if you want to compress the file best other details I'm not going to go into way depth on this because there's so many cool things you can do to it but I'll press OK and there's the file right there but that's pretty much it thank you for watching from Hilton's computer repair and I will see you on the next video thanks for watching guys if you just like this video then hit that button but if you like it and you want to see more hit that like button get subscribed comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see consider checking out our merch store link in the video description and for the rest i will see you on the next video